hello ladies and welcome back to my channel so today is a quick video for you guys a q and a so yes i do get a lot of questions uh, of ladies interested about my plastic surgery so this video is all dedicated to all of the questions that i have gotten over the last you know two and a half months after plastic surgery and so i wanted to answer a couple of them because you know this video would be like an hour long but so anyway, the most asked frequently asked questions I will be answering right now for you. So the first question is, I have my notes over here. I have written them down because I don't want to, you know, forget your amazing questions. And always thank you for asking and I will always answer. The first uh, question that I get a lot is, does a tummy tuck, does plastic surgery hurt? Okay, so let me just tell you really quick about my experience and that was i was on prescription medication five to six days after my surgery and after my surgery my doctor numbed me all of my stomach he numbed me and i was numb for about four to five days that being said i did not feel any pain where the cuts were made on my tummy tuck or my breast lift. There was no pain there. Only pain that I had was liposuction. I was very, very sore because I had liposuction done on my love handles. My back was very, very sore, like super sore. I couldn't touch anything with my, my back, with my sides, like everything was hurting. Uh, you know, it was very sensitive. And the other thing that hurt was my muscle repair. So yes, I have three children. I had muscle separation and my, you know, surgeon fixed that up for me. And so sneezing, coughing, laughing, uh, lifting legs up or down hurt. Having a funny husband, it was torture for the first two months, for the first month. Uh, but anyway, so these are the things that hurt. Um, the actual cuts did not hurt at all, at least for me. Okay, second question. You were not fat. Why didn't you just go to the gym? I get this a lot. And I know that people are seriously interested. Why would, you know, not an overweight person would get such plastic surgery done? And well, yes, I was not fat, but yes, I did have a lot of loose skin on my stomach and my chest. So I, you know, I have a home gym and I've been weightlifting for a year and a half before my plastic surgery, but still, you know, no matter what I did, the skin was always there. I lost 20 to 30 pounds before, you know, plastic surgery. And I did have three kids before that as well. And so the loose skin just became too much. The actual reason why I decided to get plastic surgery in the first place was because of my chest. And my chest was, you know, very, very saggy. I have naturally large breasts. So after breastfeeding three kids, after weight loss, there was only skin left. So hence the liposuction, I needed to put something in here. The reason why... I got liposuction from my love handles. Uh, anyway, so yes, I do go to the gym. It's a home gym, but it's still a gym. And I did, and I still do. But loose skin does not go anywhere. Gym cannot change that. Okay, question number three. Kids, how is afterwards having plastic surgery and having kids at home? How much help do you need? This is like the all-inclusive question of what I have been uh, getting asked. So, I have three kids, and yes, I did. I was sleeping with my baby girl, always. I She cannot sleep without me, so I just had a pillow in between us, and she was right there, and I could, you know, touch her and scratch her back and give her a hug. Uh, but yes, she was sleeping with me. Of course, when you have, you know, plastic surgery, at least tummy tuck and breast lift, I had to lay uh, in the bed like this, so I couldn't lay down, like I had to be like this. And I felt a lot more safe 
while she was there with me. I had pillows in both sides. Just reminding my kids, you know, mommy just, just had surgery. Please be careful. I, please be careful. Please be careful. Please be careful over and over and over again. A chair was my best friend because you cannot use your core muscles at all after, uh, you know, a muscle repair. So just sitting uh, was the best because you can stand up with your feet using your feet only but if you are just a little bit relaxed and just like this you need to use core and you cannot so someone needs to help you get up and of course i had a breast lift so that means t-rex arms right so we cannot push or pull anything you cannot lift your arms or extend your arms so uh i don't feel like it was difficult with the kids I do have a husband at home who, you know, was helping me. I do have two, you know, older kids, uh, you know, four and six, and they can both help me get up out of the bed, and they did a couple times. And the baby was just always there. As long as I gave her a hug, even though a careful hug and not like a squeezing hug, but I still, she was always by me. She was always on me, sitting on me, laying next to me, sleeping with me. It just worked out that way. Okay, and a fourth question, would you recommend plastic surgery to other moms? Uh, I don't think I would recommend plastic surgery ever to anyone actually, like it really depends on your situation. I know that a lot of people get plastic surgery for different reasons and that's why I cannot and I would not recommend that, of course, there there is just like a list of things you need to do before you you decide if you need plastic surgery and that is of course you know food uh workouts uh i don't know doctor maybe check if your blood is okay and then you can talk to your surgeon that's what i did you know at the beginning of my journey uh first i started to weight lift I learned about food and calories and how much I need to eat and how much I should be eating. And then after I lost the weight, all of the weight that I wanted to lose, I gained muscle. So I tried to actually change my shape before plastic surgery. Only then I noticed that like it's, it's not going to change, right? Because it is just skin. The skin is not going to go nowhere. I had no more fat and it took me a year and a half to learn that so after a year and a half i stopped breastfeeding and four months later i had plastic surgery so it's it's not something that i would recommend ever first try different things and of course you know plastic surgery it's expensive and it's like it's a it's a surgery like i have huge scars everywhere so it's something that you really must <laughs> need um, but i know there are people who have gotten plastic surgery and now are starting their journeys you know what i mean so they just needed that little push so like i said everyone is different but no i do not and would not recommend plastic surgery to anyone before they do these couple steps in their you know life so learning about food calories weightlifting, uh and really trying to do to change their body by themselves and on their own before plastic surgery okay so i will answer one last last question and uh, i hope that this, this video is not going to get taken down um i get a lot of questions about sex after plastic surgery and yet again does depend on the surgery that you are getting right so let's say i have gotten liposuction and my back was very very sore so if you're trying to have you know sex you cannot lay on your back because it's just touching the bed and it's moving and it's just not comfortable again i could not lay on my side because i had a breast lift right so i couldn't squish my breast at all so laying on the side was a no-no so it really depends on the surgery that you are getting and what your surgeon told you my surgeon told me as long as I am comfortable and, and like not in pain and happy and not squishing my breasts, it's so totally fine. It just the thing is you need to find the right position and that really depends on your surgery again. 
so please talk to your surgeon before doing anything but for me uh, a week later um, everything was totally fine just again finding the right position so I would not be hurting myself and so that's about it that's all I wanted to answer in this amazing video of course if you have any more questions you can always follow follow me on Instagram TikTok Facebook or of course subscribe to my YouTube channel everything is in the description down below and so have the best day ever bye